It's always amazing when I get to say, I told you so. And I've been getting to do that so much lately. It's actually insane. It's blowing my mind. It's almost making me think that I'm living in some sort of simulation. Like I'm actually just in a coma and I'm imagining all this. Because I've never been so consistently right about everything like this before. It's been a wild couple of years. And you saw a little bit there at the top. And for those of you that don't know, Greta Thunberg was arrested at a protest for like fossil fuels, greenhouse gases, whatever it is that she's on. And it was like, oh, the news, like, oh, can you believe that they arrested her for protesting? The big oil companies are just so out of control. Well, the funny thing about that is, I'll give you guys a little inside baseball here. When I make these videos, I don't click the button and very quickly just all of a sudden come here and start talking. There's about a 10 to 15 second, sometimes a little bit longer, of the camera rolling, of the audio rolling, where I'm preparing to do what I'm doing right now. Making sure all the, making sure the, the numbers are right, making sure the camera's working properly, all that. Lighting's good, even though lighting's inconsistent on my channel. Sorry about that, guys. And then I just cut that part out. And then I'll, maybe if I'm involved in the thumbnail, I'll do a little something like this, like... And then it's a freeze frame, I can pause the video, screenshot it, and then there you go, there's the thumbnail. That's a little insider baseball. Now... You cut out those parts. So then that way it flows a little bit nicer. It seems a little bit more professional. It's not just me sitting here like, okay, what do I talk about next? It does none of that stuff. But here's the thing. There is raw footage of that that exists on my computer. That's right. There's audio files where there's like 20 seconds of silence and then me all of a sudden chiming in the way I did at the top of this video. This video has it, all my videos have it. And so does everything else that is a pre-planned production. And good old Greta forgot, I guess, or her people forgot, her handlers forgot that that's a thing because this ended up getting posted by mistake and now the whole world saw it, and now it's a whole lot of, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. She was never arrested. How about you just roll it right now? <laughs> you also want those quick? How does it look with the Albertstraße? Now, isn't that a little awkward? Isn't it a little awkward that she's just standing there like, let's take the photos. Okay, let me make the face. And then, of course, there's the one of her getting carried out where she's smiling because that's what they want to see. They want her to be happy that she was standing on her morals and her standards and her principles to fight against the big evil oil people in the name of protecting the future generations from climate change and she doesn't care she's getting arrested she is happy in fact because she is doing the right thing turns out it's all staged it's all bs just like everything else that they put on the mainstream here you go you know how many other things have happened that you didn't see the behind the scenes footage like this? You know how many things? I mean, I've already posted things on this channel like where Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau got caught staging a photo shoot where they had a Nazi flag and a Confederate flag at the truckers convoy protest. They literally staged it, it was caught. It was his own personal photographer that was there handling the pictures. Then they went right back into the building where only government officials were allowed to be in. They got caught doing that. And I posted that. You can check out that video. I'll put the card up probably. Maybe somewhere. Maybe you just saw there. Maybe you just go check it out. It's one of the most popular videos on my channel. And you know how many other things happen that way? There's Greta. There's that Trudeau thing. 
How many other things do you think have happened like that? How many other things do you think have been staged that have been then used and turned around on you where if you didn't go along with the narrative that they were trying to create with said staging of the event that you were, oh, I don't know, a racist, an extremist, a sexist, a homophobe, a transphobe, you know the list of words, you know the list of terms. How many do you think there have been? I guarantee you countless ones. Anything that the media runs with for more than five minutes that they bring in all these think tank panels on and just and just theorize for an hour like this is a this is a this is a uh you know it's a it's emblematic of what um it is to be American in the twenty first century in the post Trump era and blah, 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 blah. the worst part of all this is that people are going to just sweep this under the rug. It's already been swept under the rug. This is this, I don't know how much this is even out there. I've barely seen anything about this. Thank God for Twitter. Twitter Elon Musk posted it. I think he did. He's at least allowing it to make the rounds. But how many people that support Greta Thunberg who have been calling her like the person of the year or whatever for Time Magazine? Was that thing she actually won? I think it was. How many of those people are going to come out and be like, oh, maybe this girl's full of crap? None. None. Literally none. But then all this stuff happens and then they wonder why people don't buy into these mainstream narratives. Why people question all this science that they keep talking about where it always just seems where... The corporations and people in the government seem to get really rich and then nothing at all changes. It just keeps every four years, every two years, really. And it's just a talking point from one side of the, the aisle to the other. I'm kind of curious as to how many people are still buying in to what Greta Thunberg has been selling for the last, what, five years? How long has she been around for? A couple of years, not five years, probably like three or four. But how many people are still buying into it? How many? Clearly, she's bought and paid for. I mean, is that video not enough? Is that video not enough? How many people can stage that with police officers if they aren't bought and paid for? If they don't have people that are much higher than them in the food chain running the show? That they don't have people much higher in the food chain as the puppet masters? How many people can actually do that? Not many. Not many. Apparently, she doesn't even have money because, you know, she's just a climate activist. And I don't, think, I don't know how much money is in client, climate activism. Probably a lot for her because she's like the face of it. So they pay her a lot of money to go out there and just spew out things that adults have been telling her to say. The same adults like Al Gore who said that we were supposed to be underwater by now in 2012. We're supposed to be 11 years underwater, guys. We're all supposed to be living in freaking Little Mermaid, according to Al Gore, for a long time now. For a long time. Some of you have kids that should have never known what it is to be on land, according to Al Gore. And because there was nothing we could have done to stop it except give him lots of money and make him really rich so then he can buy beachfront property in Florida, which by his own standards and theories would have been the first things to go underwater. I get the feeling that they've been stealing money from people. I get a feeling that they steal the money from people, then give it to people like Greta Thunberg, who they then exploit and take advantage of to push their narratives. I feel like that's a thing they do, but I'm, I, I don't know. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't a thing they do. The only thing I do know for sure is that Greta Thunberg was not actually arrested. The only thing I do know for sure is that this was a phony moment for publicity, why? Because I guess people wanted her to be a hero. I mean, she, they already tied her to the Andrew Tate arrest, which also looked kind of staged. And now, right after that, they're like, isn't she brave? Isn't she so brave? She got she got a trafficker arrested by trolling him and saying that he had a small wee-wee and made him dox himself. And then she turns around. She's so strong and so brave. She turned around and went all the way to protest a big oil rig and she got arrested for it? How are they arresting people for protesting? It is so messed up. How are they doing that? Why? Would but that's all I really got on this topic today. Thanks for coming. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and leave your comments in the comment section. Do you think Greta Thunberg is a big bad phony? I want to hear from you guys. Thanks for coming. I'll see you with the next video.